Mpox is a rare disease caused by the Mpox virus. This virus usually affects rodents, such as rats or mice, or non-human primates, such as monkeys. But it can occur in human. Mpox usually occurs in Central and West Africa. Cases outside of Africa are often due to international travel, imported animals, and close contact with an animal or person with Mpox. There are two primary genetic clades or strains of the monkeypox virus, clade 1 and clade 2. These clades or strains have genetic differences that influence their virulence, transmissibility, and clinical presentations. Clade 2 is more dangerous than clade 1. Mpox symptoms may start 3 to 17 days after you're exposed. However, the time may vary depending the limit of exposure. Anyone who has been in close, personal contact with a person or an animal that has Mpox over a period of time is at risk. Current evidence suggests that Mpox spreads in three ways, from person to person, from animals to humans, and through direct contact with contaminated objects. We have gathered a lifestyle adjustment tips for you today that will help you to prevent Mpox. Number one, get vaccinated. The FDA has approved the Ginios vaccine, which is also known by the brand names Invimune and Invinex, as a non-replicating smallpox vaccine for the prevention of both smallpox and Mpox in individuals aged 18 and older. The Ginios vaccine is recommended for Mpox prevention, with the best protection achieved by receiving both doses. The two doses should be administered four weeks apart. Even if more than four weeks have passed since your first dose, it's important to get the second dose as soon as possible. If you have previously recovered from Mpox, you do not need the vaccine. However, it's advisable to consult your healthcare provider to determine if the Mpox vaccine is right for you. Number two, practice safe sex. Since Mpox can be transmitted through close physical contact, including sexual contact, practicing safe sex is important. Use condoms and dental dams to reduce the risk of transmission. Talk openly with sexual partners about recent illnesses or potential exposures. Number three, avoid close skin-to-skin -skin contact with infected people and animals. If you are at risk for Mpox but haven't yet received your two-dose vaccine, consider temporarily adjusting activities that involve close personal contact. It's important to avoid close physical contact with individuals who show symptoms of Mpox, such as skin rashes or lesions. The rash associated with Mpox can appear on the hands, feet, chest, face, mouth, and other areas, including the genitals. Do not touch the rash or scabs of someone with Mpox. Attending events like raves, parties, or clubs where there is minimal clothing and direct personal skin-to-skin -skin contact can increase your risk. It's advisable to avoid such gatherings for your safety. Additionally, avoid contact with animals that can carry the Mpox virus, such as rodents and primates, especially if they appear sick or are dead. Direct contact with infected animals can also pose a risk of exposure to the virus. Number four, practice good hygiene and using protective equipment. Hand washing is one of the most effective ways to protect yourself, your family, and your friends from illness. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, especially before eating, touching your face, or after using the bathroom. Additionally, clean and disinfect surfaces that are frequently touched. Ensure that all foods containing animal meat or parts are thoroughly cooked. Avoid sharing eating utensils, cups, or personal items like razors and nail clippers with someone who has Mpox or another infection. Refrain from touching clothing, bedding, towels, or other materials that may have come into contact with an infected person. If you are caring for someone with Mpox or visiting crowded places, wear protective clothing such as gloves and masks. Healthcare workers should use appropriate personal protective equipment, or PPE, including gloves, masks, and gowns, when treating or caring for patients with Mpox. Be cautious when traveling to areas where Mpox is known to be present. Follow local health advisories and avoid contact with animals that might carry the virus. Number five, seek early medical attention. Keep up to date with information from public health authorities, especially during outbreaks, to learn about any new guidelines or recommendations. If you develop symptoms such as fever, rash, or swollen lymph nodes, especially after potential exposure, seek medical advice promptly to get appropriate care and prevent the spread to others. To conclude, we can say, while Mpox cases are increasing in some parts of the world and localized outbreaks will likely continue, 
you can significantly reduce your risk of contracting MPOX by following few lifestyle adjustment tips, like getting vaccinated with the smallpox vaccine, practicing safe sex, avoiding close skin-to-skin -skin contact with infected individuals or animals, maintaining good hygiene, and using protective equipment for safeguard. Additionally, staying informed and seeking early medical attention, if symptoms arise, will help ensure your health and the safety of those around you. So, how is the MPOX situation in your country? Subscribe and stay with us for a continuous stream of expert advice to elevate your daily living and embark on a path to a healthier you.